Okay, so we're going to do calculations with arrays. The, there are many types of array calculations that come up. For example, you may be asked to uh, add up three different arrays and store the value uh, back into another array. Maybe find the average of an array, sum or total an array, or be anything. You could add five to all the values in an array. As usual, we're going to look at the pseudocode. I have three arrays and some normal variables for storing the results. Again, notice the arrow sign is used. It's pseudocode, which I should have done there. We're going to scan the array to the end of the array minus one, as we've mentioned. And then, if it's beginning, at, if i is beginning at zero, the total zero, which is already zero, is going to store array zero, array one zero, which is two, plus array two zero, which is one. Two plus one is three, and it's going to store the answer back here into three. And it's going to scan the array doing this. At the end, we're going to uh, find the sum uh, divided by the length of array 1 to get the average. So here's the, here's the code. So let's begin. So I uh, step into the program. Array 1 has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's uh, just stored there. Uh, array 2, we step, has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you see there, step. Sum and average are just two variables. One has an integer, one has a float value. And then here's the loop. So i is going to begin at 0, so it's going to be array 1, 0, plus array two zero and the result will be stored back into total zero let's see if that works yes there it is so it's gone down this column exactly the same thing next you put six in there and you can see that i is one so array one is four plus array two is two is array six so we can just keep on stepping through the array and totals as I added, the, as it scanned the arrays, it jumps out of the array at a loop. It, it takes whatever the value was in sum, divides it by the length, uh, puts it back into sum, and sum is at the moment 30, the length is 6, so the average, so the length is 5, so 30 divided by 5 is 6, and then we just print out the answers.